when we have a situation where we've got a leader who is a leader by title only, without having to really even outwardly define it, what are we saying to their subordinates? Or what are they saying to their subordinates? Do they believe in their cause? Do they believe in what they're doing? Or do they believe in a higher paycheck? As good leaders, we have to we have to have our people buy into what we believe. And we can't do that with lectures. This doesn't happen with words. It never does. It happens with our actions. Words are important, don't get me wrong. Your words have to start the conversation, but then your actions have to follow it up. How, how, everything we've discussed today, how does that have anything to do with millennials? Because this applies to everybody, right? It doesn't matter what generation you were born in. It applies to everyone. So, so how does it specifically help us with millennials? The Gen Z uh, generation are used to instant gratification. Why? Because they get it with everything. That's not a negative thing only. It's got some negative qualities to it because we're just not used to that. But what good comes from that? If they can find an easier way, faster way to do something, are they going to do it? And what if I propose to you that that's how most millennials get punished at work, get written up? They're coloring outside the lines. Millennials hate that's the way it's always been done. Because if you tell them, well, that's the way we've always done it, in their mind they go, this whole place needs a makeover. They start with the basic assumption that things can always be better. So even if you, they never hear, that's the way we've always done it. They automatically assume things can always be made to be better. Why? Because we have tools like Apple computers. We have tools like Tesla cars. That's the way that millennials think. So when you tell a millennial, you need to be here at 8 o'clock in the morning, they're going to go, okay, why? Millennials aren't asking why the last thing we, they, we just said. They're asking, why the world? Why are you doing it this way? Why are you talking like this? And they're not trying to be disrespectful. For the most part, they literally, honestly, truthfully just want to know why. And I propose that if you can't answer that question, either A, you should go figure it out, or B, you need to reevaluate why you're doing it that way. Change isn't always good, change is not always bad. And what if that millennial revolutionizes the way that your organization works, all because somebody said, sure. The way that they have come up in this world, the way that we have come up in this world, we speak a different way than the generation before. And so the generation before takes it as talking back or talking down, when the millennial generation is just literally asking you a question. And when I deal with just the millennial, I explain to them, the way that you talk to the uh, older generations is rude in their generation. So being respectful as a millennial is understanding where they come from as well. We don't just have to bow down to the millennials and do it however they want to do. The millennial generation needs to understand how generations before has done it as, and they need to respect what they've done before. Even if we can do it a better way, that doesn't mean we don't show respect. Sometimes they want to make things better, and to do that, you have to admit that things can be improved upon. We all have to do that. The hardest time to do that is when they are telling you that something can be improved upon, and you created that something, or you assisted in creating that something. Because we all hear that, and we all go, you think you're better than me. That is an insecurity in all of us. The second we say you think you're better than me, that's your own insecurity, not theirs. And as leaders, we don't get to be insecure. We're not afforded that privilege.
We tell our employees to think outside the box and then we hand them a box and say don't leave. They defy the conventional wisdom. They're doing exactly what every business has claimed to do for the past 100 years and that's think outside the box. It is on us to not only to learn from our millennial co-workers and subordinates but also to instill in them the knowledge, the wisdom, and the respect that the older generations are looking for. And open conversation and willingness to have that conversation is what does it.